Welcome back. I want to do an update of where I am right now on my journey. So this is my second pregnancy and this cycle we had to get pregnant through IVF. And so right now I am 27 and a half weeks pregnant. Everything is going well. Um, just lots of tests and going to the doctor's office and just trying to have like a, a normal life with my my child who is going to turn four next month and just trying to get him adjusted to our new life and he is adjusting pretty well we told him that we were pregnant a couple of months ago and he really took to it really well we got him a couple of books we showed him what the the baby looks like inside of the belly um through an app we just showed him like just like a couple of images on that but most of it we discussed using books that were specifically for children so he took it really well and then um he went to school a couple of weeks after we told him and he announced it to his class and the teacher told me how it went and it was really cute it was just it, it was really nice how he did it he um he started jumping up and down and saying my mom's having a baby and when she came back and she told me it just sounds so beautiful so yeah so all in all everything is going well so where I am right now I'm at week 27 so in terms of tests and doctor's appointments I um, changed clinics so I'm not at the IVF specific clinic for people with um, you know trying to get pregnant I am, I left their routine around 10, 11 weeks. Yeah, 10 weeks. And then week 11, I did the radiology appointment at a hospital. And that's when they check the baby's neck to see if they have Down syndrome. Um, the check went well. I didn't have to go back for any additional checks. With my first pregnancy, I did but everything turned out well. Week 20, I had to do the anatomy scan and that's when they just check all the parts of the baby. We make sure everything's developing well. Again, that appointment went well. Week 27, which is this week, I did the fetal echocardiogram and that's when they check the baby's heart. They check the valves. They see that everything's developing well. Um, it's making like all the connections and um, they'll ask you like a couple questions additionally about like why are you here so so for me i was there because of ivf and i was there because of my age and um there is some history on my my husband's side so it was good to actually like talk about it also just to kind of have um just have a conversation with someone about that at week 24 i did the glucose test for the first time and I failed it. <laughs> Not proud. Um, so that was a little disappointing. With my first pregnancy, I was, I, I took sugar. I would drink sugar, sugary drinks. I drank soda with my first pregnancy. This pregnancy, I stopped drinking soda years ago. Like as soon as like my son was like one and a half, I stopped drinking soda completely. I cut down like my sugar. I don't put sugar in my coffee or my tea. Um, and once in a while I might have like a, a beverage and I might put like some caramel syrup. So I was a little bit stunned that even though I did so many things, my I failed that first test and I didn't the first pregnancy. So then you, they make you go back for a second round to check your glucose. And the way that works is that you have to fast. You get there, they take your your basically your base le baseline level, and then they give you the the glucose glucola drink. They take a one hour, a two hour, a three hour. So altogether four t four times they draw your blood, and all my results came back good. So that was a that was a sigh of relief that I don't have uh, gestational diabetes it's not the worst thing in the world but you know it's just like one more added thing that I just didn't really want to have on my plate so what I am doing in this next month 
I have one more appointment I think I have to go to and that's because my blood type is a negative blood type. So when your blood type is negative, you have to get a Rogam shot. Um, and then after the baby is born, so you get another one. So I have to do that. And basically it's like you have to go to the hospital and the outpatient, outpatient lab clinic, they draw your blood. Um, it takes up to two hours, so I have to do that in this coming week. And after that, I will have to also get the TB vaccine. I got it for the first pregnancy and it's recommended your, your um, pediatrician or your doctor will recommend for you to get it and then anybody who's close to the baby, so that's good to get. So my husband got it the last time and my, my mom got it the last time. So this time I think I'm just gonna ask my husband to get it. Um, what else am I up to? Oh, so the way the Rogam shot works, just in case like you have a negative blood type, is that they have to draw your blood, they have to cross-examine it, and then they give you the vaccine. Then you take the vaccine back to your clinic and then they give it to you. So just, you know, one more thing you have to do. Um, aside from that, I delivered the first time around with my midwives who I loved. I had a great experience. I loved my, my um, whole labor process. I also had a doula. So I'm trying to basically do that all over again. I transferred my last pregnancy from one clinic at 31 weeks and then I went to the midwives and I intend to pretty much do the same thing. The reason why I'm not with midwives right now is midwives don't normally do all the testing that you get done at a regular doctor's office and I just kind of want all that done. Peace of mind. I am a little, I'm four years older than the last pregnancy and it is IVF, right? So that's what I plan to do. I've already spoken to my doula and she said that her schedule is pretty much clear. So I just have to uh, sign the contract and then we'll be good for that. And I'm at 27 weeks. In a couple of days, I'll be at 28 weeks and then I'll transfer over all of my paperwork and, you know, bring everything over. Everything I think is dig digital. So it's not like it's hard as it was probably like years ago to switch practices and I'm planning to do that at 31 weeks. If you wait I think past a certain time frame they charge you a fee so right now I think it's like a $500 fee and if I wait until I'm like 35 or 37 weeks it becomes a thousand dollar fee which is fine you know whatever I'll just you know bite the bullet it's not the end of the world. I really loved my last um I, I loved my first I loved my first delivery like it was great um so if I could replicate that um to if I could replicate that that'd be great um if it was half the time which is kind of like the rule that each pregnancy like gets divided in half so if my my first time was 17 hours then my next time would be, you know, eight and a half hours kind of thing. So that would be great if that works out that way. It doesn't always, but you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood, all that. So yeah, so things are going really well. I just wanted to do this video because <sighs> I've been, I've been delaying this video. So thank you so much for checking this video out and I look forward to updating you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.